Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Isengard campaign in Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer version 4.6. Yes, we are here again. And I'm very sorry for the week delay, but I've been moving house uh, in between videos. So we are back on the horse again, ready to go. Everything is still in chaos, of course, as it is every time you move house. Absolute pure chaos. Um, but hopefully, uh, we'll get everything sorted very, very soon. Now, looking at what we want to be doing, where are we up to? It's been a while, as you can imagine. And I think we are at the end of a turn. I've had a look around. Hello, Hyde. Hyde? 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 Hyde. 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 Hyde is coming. Hyde the fool shall die. A miserable death at the hands of the Urukai. Um, so let's end the turn and see what happens. Hopefully they attack Minas Tirith. Um, or they attack at Kaer Andros. Or at Minas Morgul. You know, there's plenty of different ones that they could do. Uh, they came with great beasts again, I think, at Minas Morgul. So, hmm, yeah. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, if they do come with great beasts, though, they probably will just do what they did last time and just sit outside the uh, gates and do absolutely nothing. Um, so, I'm not sure what we can do there. If they don't come with great beasts, they will probably actually break down the gates, so we will ha actually have to bite it. The Woodland Realm. Try to, try, they keep trying to bribe our settlements which is a bit dumb of them genuinely quite dumb um but <laughs> what can you do what can you do gondor as well oh this is a dunland dunland trying to bribe gund fools fools the urukai do not take bribes we are not around for money we're here for man flesh lovely Ah, uh, here comes Mordor. Oh no, Mordor has already gone. Belfalas has been sieged. Oh yes, that's by us. <laughs> Karan Doom under siege as well. That's interesting. So Angmar are doing pretty badly, it would seem. Um, Serilond got the Great Temple. Let's keep going. We want to get a bit of a recruitment hub over here. Cities are never the best recruitment hubs, uh, but these are all cities. Interesting that there's so many cities and no citadels over here. It's a very rich area for Gondor, so I can't imagine that they're having th making that much money anymore. Which is great for us, of course. Oh, hello. If they attack us, that would be excellent. That would be excellent. They're probably they're probably waging a lot of war down here. I do want a ceasefire with them, and we will give you a region for that. We will give you Ethelond, yes, and some map information and trade rights. I must say, rejected. No. Ah well. How about giving uh, Ethelond to Mordor? That would be funny, wouldn't it? Ah, would this bring in that second army? It would. Ah, that's a slog. That's a serious slog. How many turns? Eight turns. It's a long time, though. How many turns over here? It's 12. Uh, I don't think they're going to get... Oh, they, they left Minas Morgul. That's great. We need to kind of block them off at Moranon as well. Hmm. Good job that we can like retrain these boys here as well, which is fantastic. We lost a few troops, especially the trolls. The trolls are down a lot. We got the uh, Uruk Armory though as well. You guys going to Kalanhad now? Let's see whether we can retrain anyone here. Perfect. Up in Lim here. Hello, Captain Gazmog. What are you doing? We'll go after Lurtz's rest. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get anyone else in this army, though. Who did we lose? We've lost a troop in here. Um, who do we want to leave behind? That's a problem, isn't it? 
Can we... Let's, like, recruit a couple of those guys just to fill garrisons. Uh, it's going to take you ages to get anywhere. Come on, boys. Let's get a couple of those. And a couple of those. Um, and then... Can we get any mercenaries? No. How about over here? No. Okay, I think what we'll do then is we'll probably merge you guys. Send this 27 back. Put you... Oh, they were on 70%. It doesn't matter then. Let's go after Lurtz's rest. And we can assault straight away. I think we will. Crook Nash... No! Despoiler of Karas Galathon. That's a good name. Oh, that's all he's got, really. Really. Crook Nash... He is considerably... He is two stars better at night attack. Well, <laughs> Well, we're not going to do that then. But yes, we shall take Karas Galathon once again. We are going to be rounding off the series very soon, guys. We, we basically had a, you know, a crux point. I really just want to destroy Gondor. But it's, it's so slow with the Ballista Towers. Because assaulting the Ballista Tower Towns is just complete suicide. Even if they have like n almost no troops inside the settlement. You guys get there. And then... We'll use these boys to just shoot them. Everyone else. Hopefully we won't need anyone else. We might just use um, the Nazgul. These aren't towers, are they? No. <gasps> Get you guys over here. And speed this baby up. Oh, they're shooting quite accurately. Decent. 10% each time. It's very good. Let's get you guys in front. You guys here. Nice. Ooh, keep on firing. Let's go. Um, I mean, I really just want to shoot them to death, if I'm honest. Uh, look at the lovely lights along the side of the path. Very nice. Uh, they won't fit anywhere. Come on. You guys probably like in here, I'd say. If we can. They won't fit anywhere. Come on. You guys get there. You guys probably like here. And the Nazg hi. The Nazg hi. Hello, we are the Nazg. Let's go. Fire away, my boys. I mean, a lot of them are snagger, like snagger stalkers and goblin band, so they ain't going to be too hard to kill. Let's get the Nazkai around. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Same with you guys. Let's get you around. Fire! Charge! Kill them all! God, now it's just a grind. Hopefully we're not losing too many of the old spear band. Should have probably used the Bane Guard because I think they would have lost slightly less. It is just Goblin Band though. There is their Goblin Bodyguards over here. They'll probably be doing a little bit of damage, but... I hope the Nazgai don't, have, don't take any losses because they, they shouldn't really. Come on, boys. Oh, God. They get, yeah, they are getting shredded. Let's look at the Nazca in action. Just chopping through everyone. They are a brutally good unit. Very good. I'm surprised we haven't even got the Witch King of Angmar yet. But, uh, hopefully, we'll get them soon. Yeah, there's not many left. Let's go. Our men have taken control of the city. Yes. 
Control of the city once again. Ah, oh, there's still 40 in there. It doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, I guess they're spread out a bit. Bloody battle. We did lose. We've lost two. Wow, that is surprising. Very surprising. Ah, kill him. Chop his head off and eat it. Lovely. End the battle. 92 soldiers left. Uh, lost. It's actually too many for that battle, really. 319. These guys lost 60. They healed 10, which is not great. Killed 89 and 56. Yeah, I should have used the Vanguard. 319 for the Nazkai, though. Well done. They are brutally good. They are so good. Very good indeed. Absolutely fantastic unit. But Karas Galathon is now ours once again. And we could go north and go and take some more goblin settlements. Just got to be wary of the Anduin Vale. Everyone is at war with us. That's the challenge with taking the ring, I think. Is that literally everyone and their mothers <laughs> fucking declares war on you. Like, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, it's crazy. Execute those bitches. Um, I think we occupy, because it will definitely be a bit more Melkor-y now, won't it? Let's see. Yeah, 50% Melkor Shadow. Let's get the Temple of Melkor up there. They do have the Drill Square available. Ooh. We need 65% for the uruk -hai Infantry, though, which... These guys can get retrained. Why is that? Let's get better better armor, maybe. Have a look at that, Are we? Oh, there's so much trash, though. The trash spam. Oh, God. The trash spam is real, bro. It's very real. <clears throat> I do love all these uh, invasion armies leaving the lands and going north. It's fantastic. It's great to see. Uh, we need a spy around here. Do we not have a spy? You're a spy. Let's get you up here. We don't need you at Dantalad anymore. Or Dormarak. I mean, the Celebrin is is here still. Celebrin. And we've just skipped it. Maybe we should have gone and taken it. It's a castle. Ooh, Temple, Temple Marksman. What a waste of Temple Marksman. Just defending Celebrin. An absolute trash hole. Come on, keep retraining any, anyone you can, boys. I think we're doing a lot better on uh, on money now than we were before. We had a few dicey moments. Let's go for the fairground. Let's get a bit few more monetary buildings. Uh, ball breeder. That should make some more money. Can we upgrade that to a large encampment. Let's do that. Isengard. Retrain those Nazkai. Uh, get, we, we're going to have to keep on getting some more units. Like the ones that we get up to the maximum in the unit pool. We're going to have to get. Especially these decent ones. Yeah, these ones we can't afford really to not be training. Even if it takes a while for them to get to the front line. Right. Uh, do we have anything else to do? Well, they've moved their guys out there. So we can send you now into Ethelon. Which is good. Getting a bit of Melkor's Shadow. Fantastic. So if they want to attack Ethelond, I welcome them to do that. Because Ethelond will probably have Ballista Towers as well. I'm, I'm assuming it will. Um, but yeah. Can't wait for them to attack Minas Tirith and just lose because of their timer. Minas Tirith is literally the most ridiculous settlement to take on the time. You have to take it without a timer, because otherwise it's just impossible. I wonder how much Melkor Shadow there is in um, Osgiliath. Probably a little bit. What is Woodland Realm doing? You really want Dolgador, don't you, my friend? But you can't have it. It's ours! It's ours! <laughs> Mordor. You're going to attack Mordor? 
Ah, no. Gondor is going to attack. Kuruan. It's a pretty decent army, I'd say. We've only got one guards of Gilead, though. A uh, few Athelian rangers. Some lovely Citadel guard. They all have decent armor upgrades as well, if that's the fourth armor upgrade or, or not. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. It might be. These guys don't, though. Some Lossanak Axemen. I mean... Yes, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Well, uh, if... The, you know, we can defend Minister over and over again and go to the timer. Uh, but I don't want to show you... If this happens again, we'll probably just, like, uh, edit it out and show you the results. Because you don't want to see us just fight to the timer and... Oh, time and time again. But, oh well. Here we are. We have seen Minas Tirith once. A couple of other times. But we haven't actually fought on Minas Tirith, I don't believe. Have we? I uh, can't remember. It's been a long time in this campaign. <laughs> We've spent a long, long time in this campaign. So I can't quite remember. But, oh well. Uh, so, what do we want to do? Who do we want to sacrifice? Oh, these archers. These archers. I'm sorry, boys. You are getting sacrificial. Everyone else. And there's no point. Let's go. Let's go up the hill. You can go up there. There's really no point at all in uh, sallying the selling the wargs out because the towers are only arrow towers they're not actually that useful but we do want to have these guys down here to keep the arrow towers going as long as possible if not someone there really we have a lot we do have a lot of pikemen we'll probably take our weakest unit of pikemen stick them I think sticking them on the turn is the best the best thing. Or probably like here. There we are. And then everyone else... I think it's the next layer up, is it? Yes. No? Or is it this layer? Here we are. Everyone else, get you guys in here. And then the crossbows... Uh, God, it's the, the pathing on this map, bro. There we are. Um, we'll probably have the, the Nazkai. And then another one of these guys. Like, there is no chance. Like, they'll get up to here, but that's it. Ah, God, it's so hard to, to get them to move here. Oh, God, look at it. Please, just let me... <laughs> let me put my men out. Oh, oh, come on. There we are. Come on, bro. They can go right, they just can't go left. There we are, you guys go there. You crossbows can stay there. Everyone else is fine up here, because they're not going to get past that gate. There's just no chance in hell. Zero chance. They can use the siege towers on this map, which is interesting as to why they won't. Hmm. What we might do is retreat one of these guys behind the these guys up here. These guys should last a long time. Unless they do that stupid pushing thing where they like push. Whoa, how are you guys firing? I can't even see where you're firing. Like, surely none of those are hitting. So we'll keep you off fire, Will. Should stop firing now. Stop. <clears throat> and you guys. Do we get you back here? I wish we could go on these walls as well. It'd be awesome. Right, you guys go there. Uh, run, please. 
You guys can stay. Keep these. I thought there were towers. Oh well. Here they'll come. Yeah, these are towers. They're just really trash ones. I mean, Minister doesn't really need any more defenses. Imagine them having catapult towers. That would be... Now, that would be cool. Because, like, in the actual movies, they do have catapult towers, don't they? Firing away. Here comes the big blob. Oh, my God. Why are they so far away? Oh, my God. Why are they still carrying the rams? That is dumb. Gondor rams look kind of lame as well. Look at that. Lamest rams in existence, bro. Get some better rams. Oh, here come the here they come, the Gondor infantry. Yeah, we're gonna lose that <laughs> quite considerably. I oh, know. Are they ballista towers? They sound like ballista towers. I thought they were just arrow towers. Well, I guess they are ballista towers then. All right, good luck, boys. The rangers are firing. Keeping the guys going for as long as possible. Which is decent. The battle is very much in our favor. Uh, hello, Beast Slayers. Go, 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 go. What are you doing, bro? I was just thinking then, like, what Gondor unit looks like that? Go here. Go, go, go. Go. Don't let that cab chase you. Yeah, they're going to have to get through a wall of pain over here. On top of another Beast Slayer unit. So, good luck to them. The Beast Slayer units are pretty decently tough for, uh, for a unit like them. For an archer unit. Here they come. Oh, God. Pathing, bro. This is the one thing on this map. There's just... Annoying as hell. Here they come. They're coming now. And the first man comes around the corner. Not even charging. Yeah. Good luck, horses. Oh, now it's just going to be chaos. This is Guards of Asgiliath. Oh, they're, they're, just do, they're just pushing through. How are they allowed to do that, like, bro? Because we can't do that. We are not allowed to do that. Genuinely. Like, if we do that, like, we would die. Oh, they're bringing the ram. That's what they're doing. Surely they're going to drop the ram. Ah, uh, they ran. Oh, no. This is bad. I hope they all die now. It sounds horrible, but... That's better. Do you know what we'll do... You guys, you guys, you guys. We'll bring you guys to like... Oh, God. I don't... It's just weird, like... They might get up here, but... I'm hoping not. Guards, all thank guards. You boys... Ah, it's so hard to put anything on, on up here. Bane guard... You know what, I'll send a Bane Guard down as the extra cover. Just in case. Go there. Right, speed this puppy up once again. They're still fighting down there pretty decently. So like like their left flank has just been destroyed. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. I mean, we've killed less than them. <laughs> but we don't need to kill them. We just need to stop them from getting to the town square in time. Which is pretty easy. Hopefully. <laughs> I say that now. I watch. I'll lose. <laughs> I think we've got enough to grind them out. We're killing Italian rangers now, though. Which is a good unit to kill. And if they lose, they won't heal a lot. They've got generals. They've got Kuroran down there. Some Lossaneck Axemen. Oh my god, look at these guys. Go you. 
Still t keeping these towers firing, hopefully. Doesn't look like it. Ah, that's unfortunate. You're a lot better than your mate who just ran away. Uh, now here they come with the ram. They've got two more layers to get up. Uh, Nazkai, I'm not sure that's a good arc for you to fire on, bro. Ah, oh, come on, bro. I wish. Why can I not? Ah, so annoying. I wish I want my guys to be. Oh, here they are. Guards of Gilead. You guys firing there? This should be decent shots. Taking them down pretty nicely. They're a good unit to take down as well because they're a strong, strong unit. Shoot them all! Why are there so many of them not shooting? Oh, they're getting shredded. Where are your buddies, bro? Yeah, keep it going. A lot of them hit the wall then. It'd be nice if there was some like firing platforms where you can actually path your troops. <laughs> you send that Bane Guard down? Yeah, I think the Bane Guard should get in before the Nazkai, but like I say, it's going to be a while. That, that ram still needs to get up here and knock that gate down, and then they need to get through these guys. <laughs> Come on, crossbows. You're doing a decent job. Decent job of killing these guys. Very good, in fact. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What I like to see. You know what? Stop now. Ah, oh, where is the rest of them? As if these guys are still fighting. Same as these. Oh, now. No. I just clicked away at exactly the wrong time there. Oh, God. Get you guys. Yeah, fire into that. So they have managed to get their ram up. Pretty quickly, in fact. More quickly than I can normally. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Well, good luck, boys. Um, send the main guard in. Because they are, this one is just so focused on the right flank, we'll get these guys focused on the left flank. Get firing into the Lusseneg Axeman. Should have a very good arc there now. The battle is very much in our favour. Yeah, this this is actually quite a decent position. Where is Bane Guard? Come on, Bane Guard, let's go. You should be in uh, guard mode as well, which you don't seem to want to be. We've killed twenty three percent now, which is actually quite a decent amount. Get in, boys. In fact. You can't even press anywhere here. That's so annoying. Yeah, we're actually in quite a decent position with these spearmen. These pikes. See, they're still trying to push through, though, which always annoys me. Like, that push is just incredibly, incredibly annoying. You don't seem to be able to do anything about it, either. Which, if you push, try to push through a spear wall, like, it seems like you would die very, very easily. Or should, anyway. But it's just a sheer mass of troops, I guess. Stick it up to time six. Oh, look at that blob. That is a blob and a half. Are the Nazkai involved yet? It does look like it. Why are they not firing so much anymore? Fire in here, like, just fire into here. It's a perfect arc for you, bro. You can just fire directly down there. Yeah, just fire directly in. That's better. Should be able to hold them off here, hopefully. No! Fire in there! 
Stop being little pussios. Fire in. Ah, come on. Let's get you, uh... Get you that. If you can, my friend. Yeah, they're finding it tough to push through here. Let's get a double of the Nazkai. Hopefully that should make some of them waver. Not many of them, actually. Just some of these uh, horsemen, I think. That's better. Get firing away, my boys. Let's -a go. Let's go. Fantastic. Very nice indeed. And they're not on fire at will. That's probably why. They're doing a very good job of defending. Oh, these guys are just not even in combat anymore. <laughs> um, what do we do here then? Probably get up to here. I don't know. Is there any... Uh, can sandwich these boys if we wanted to. Oh, look at this. They are getting shredded. Wow. I was not expecting them to get this shredded. I think it's the combination with the crossbows. It's just brutal. Hey, you guys as well. You fought them off, bro. I am pleased. I am so happy for you. You did an excellent job. You guys stand there. Stop any... Ah, stop routing troops is what I was going to say. But looks like you just missed some. Looks like they're getting shot at, actually. <laughs> oh, my days. They're getting pushed back so well. Well done, boys. We've actually killed a load. I want this battle to continue. We've killed loads of them. Like, genuinely loads. Well done, boys. This is excellent. This is really excellent. Very good indeed. 70% of them. They will not be a threat anymore. The Doomstack is dead. The Doomstack will be dead. If they send their general's bodyguard in, that'd be nice. Oh, look at that Naz guy running into the wall. He's just so angry. Fuck these Gondor walls. Disgusting. Well done, boys. Oh, that's very nice. They didn't heal anyone. We healed... Oh, we didn't heal much. We healed like 5%. <laughs> 399 for the Nazkai. 43 for the other one, which isn't great. Crossbows, 308, 182. Very nice. The pikemen that lost... Uh, 50. Which pikemen were you... Well, 236 is a decent. 91 is also quite good. Uh, 165 for 22 casualties. Very good. Uh, Beast Slayers, 142. Well done. Very nice. The Bane got 360. Wow. Well, that was a very good battle. That was fun. That was destruction. We absolutely destroyed them. Those fools. Those Gondor fools. They think they can take Minas Tirith back. But they cannot. If we can like lock off Mordor here at Osgiliath, we can just focus straight onto Gondor with this army as well, which is brilliant. So we might do that as the next battle. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what happens at the end turn. It's Mordor after these guys, right? So, oh no, Mordor was before Gondor, so... Execute those fools. Even the Orcs of Gundamad, I think, are at war with us, which are technically a neutral faction. <laughs> how many how many people want to be at war with us? Good lord. Literally everyone. Literally everyone. What is in this army? That's what I want to know. Oh, so many trolls. Great beasts as well. Oh, two units of great beasts. And Olokai. Two units of Olokai and a unit of great beasts. I'm not sure about that, you know. <laughs> yeah, barracks in Minas Tirith. We are getting Melkor's shadow up, so 
Once it's once it's back up there, we'll be good. Minas Morgul got the armory, which is great. Retrain everyone you can, my friends. Ethelon got the Temple of Melkor. Uh, get rid of Rhodes now, Ethelon, I'd say. Even though the road, you know, your territory is genuinely quite small, but it should help with money, the money situation over there. Get rid of Kazadoom. Yeah, we needed those guys to fill the gaps, didn't we? Yeah, it's only 27 of those order infantry, though. Um. And we need to get you up, up to Lurtz's rest. Train you. Yeah, we need we need some troops to be following our armies around. Edui! It's a, a trash, trash settlement. Absolutely trash. Right. Captain Zaglug. Looks like Dale has pussied off. Well then. Well then, Dale. I think while you remain such a vacuous fool, we will come and try and take Dor Lingvar back. Ah. I'm just glad Dorwinian's not decided to get in on the party of absolutely bashing us, which uh, seems like quite a big party for most people. Uh, over here, how are we doing then? Alright, well, let's end the turn again. We're mostly defensive around here at the minute. If we take Dol Amroth, though, I'm sure Dol Amroth will take a ceasefire. For the time being. We bring word for you. Oh, go on. How in the hell? Oh my god, you've declared war on Dale. Go on, Darwinian. Our reputation is despicable. <laughs> we do have supreme power, so do they. Our relations are terrible together. Peace, they want peace. Yes. Glad we could reach an agreement. Can I uh, proposition map for, for map? Let's just have a look. Never. Do you think us foolish and meek? Uh, no, that was a bit obscene for the amount of, <laughs> for just some map information, but I think my map information is probably better than yours, I'm not going to lie. Well, I'm glad Darwinian's attacking Dale. Oh, Ro oh, Roscabel. Oh, Anduin Vale, why would you come and attack? You fools! That is not, oh, I'm not happy about that at all. <laughs> But can we defend Dol Gudor? Probably. Most likely. Gondor didn't do anything that turn. Which is good for us. But no, neither did Mordor. Which is annoying because they're supposed to be attacking Ker Andros. And that might mean we have to sally out. And Ker Andros is not the best settlement to sally out of. <laughs> it's not a good settlement to sally out of. If they sallied out of West of, of Iliath though, that would be pretty decent. Get ready for fight. Oh, hello. Calumbell, why are you suddenly so unhappy? We'll put you down to low. But why would you do this, my friends? We are just eating you for orc reasons and enslaving all your kin. But I'm really upset that you would consider doing this. Oh, we'll put a port there. Get some trade going. Of course. Oh, hello, Dorian. Dorion. I mean, oh god. Oh, Jesus, we have like no melee troops and we can't get any unless. No mercenaries available. In here? No. That's not into a different territory, is it? No mercenaries anywhere. Good lord. Hmm. Well, it's not too much of an issue, is it? get you guys going. Ah, oh, come on, Inner Life. You can take it now. You guys go. You guys get out. No sleeping here. No sleeping here. Alright, time to siege down Erui. What is Erui? 
you want. Everybody, it's the capital. Why is it your capital? You still have Goblin Town? What imbeciles? I mean, that looks like it's fallen to. Um, Zag Kala fallen to the elves. What was this diplomatic? Mordor and Vale of Darwinian. That should help out a lot. <laughs> what a weird alliance! This is so weird. <laughs> I'm not expecting this. Oh, that's the Eastlings of Rune as well. So if you take that, you are bordering Mordor. And we can destroy Mordor together, my friend. Very good. Evil Darwinian. I was not seeing that one coming at all. I'm not going to lie. 18%. It's going up 3% a turn, which is actually pretty nice. There's a hunting lodge over here. Hmm... Can we recruit troops in any of these nearby cities? Oh, we can. It's just absolute pure trash troops, though. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, Kudor. I still would like to take defensive battles if we can for the time being. Because these guys are just slowly getting whittled down and down and down. And they really are not the best armies, as you can see. Do we have any... Decent troops to, def to replace some of these guys with? I mean, not really. Um, just some berserkers. Well. Uh, what do we do with you then, Kufnash? Day alarm. Oh, hello. Woodland scouts. Very nice. <sighs> yeah, I, our army is good enough to beat that. Especially without their general. How much archers do they have, though? We've got a lot of archers. Daily and swordsmen. 715. That's... That's nothing, bro. <laughs> That's just literally nothing. Oh, these guys are 615, though. Oh, they're equivalent to our raiders. Barning Marksman, 717. They are good. They have a lot of archers. We have no cav. That's a problem. But we go for it. And Grim as well. So if we kill Grim... Crush Nash the Conqueror. Let's go. Let's go, my boys. Let's us go. Smashing the old Crush Nash. Very good. Smashing with Crush Nash, should I say. Big Crush Nash. Lurtz's protege. Oh, I hate the forests. Fuck the forests, bro. Right. You guys here. Get you guys in a line. Be a thin line to start with, but we'll, we'll spread it out. And the Bane Guard, one on the right, one on the left. Bane Guard, are you in the line? Yes, you are. Trolls, you will not be used for the time being. They have a lot of cav as well, which. It's a bit scary because we don't really carry cav too much. I wish trolls could hide in forests. <laughs> right, boys. Let's go. Let's get there. You guys can get there. You guys fire at whoever you want to. Trolleys, let's go there. That's their cab on that left flank. At least we've got pikemen on the left flank. Get there. Because they've got so much cab. Everyone run. If you can. Pikemen. Get you running. Crush Nash will bring you forward, my friend. Get going. Uh, who do we want to fire at? I mean, they're all coming. They're coming in. They think they can win. Good luck, my boys. Uh, it's a bit chaos right now, isn't it? Right, my Cav. How do they... Dale Cavalry. 5, 14. 10, 16. Good Lord. 12, 16. 10, 16. Well, time to munch on some of them then. You guys, get your spears down now. I don't think you're going to win this, boys. I'm not going to lie. 
We don't have any berserkers or anything like that. Unfortunately, kill those woodland scouts, you boys. Shoot them, you boys. Shoot those northern archers. Ah, don't be, don't be a bitch. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. We've got no Nazguls as well. Spear guard. Yeah, we should absolutely shred these boys. That's the one problem with Krushnash. And he doesn't have Orc Draft or whatever the other thing was. Go on, charge the spikes, please. Oh, that's glorious. Oh, no. What are you doing, you fucking idiots? What the fuck are you doing? Are you fucking kidding me? You just absolutely destroyed half of this unit, you fucking re- uh, Imbeciles. That is so stupid. Get after these boys. These boys don't want to don't want to route. Let's get after them. Oh, they're broken. Come on the cav. Come on the cav boys. Oh, these poor Dale Cavalry are just trash, aren't they? I thought they were decent, but no. Oh, these poor Dale boys. They're so shit. They're not using their army right, though. Dale is an archer faction. And they should be using it as as, a, as an archer. Oh, stop having people rout, because... Oh, these poor Dale Cav. Kill them. Kill them. Put it on times two now for now. We don't need it to be on anything more, do we? Oh, trolls. Hello. F -f -f poor trolls. At least we still got 12 trolls. I was going to say, if we'd lost trolls in that, I would have been very upset. Oh, these daily and longbowmen are getting absolutely hammered. We need to kill these uh, these guys. Get through into the next ones. Oh, we've killed the general. They should all basically route now. Come on, boys. Let's go. Yeah, there's a lot of routing going on. Get the raiders. The raiders have hardly even taken any damage. Let's go into the woodland scouts. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their Oh, look at them. Just dying. Kill them. Kill them all. This is glorious. What a glorious battle. Kill those Erebor infantry. Damn dwarves fighting for Dale. I mean, I think we should probably stop you firing right now because... Oof. Oh, look at the mass routes. This is glorious. Get into them. You guys, we need to kill them. Kill as many as you can. Before the secondary army arrives. They're streaming away. Oh, the secondary army is going to be a bit annoying. It's going to get in the way of chasing these boys down. Right, uruk Raiders. Let's go. Get you back in place. Who are you? Oh, my spear guard. Why are you like that? Let's get there. To kill all of these boys. Kill them all. Oh my god, look at this. so many of them. I think we get rid of the cav. I think we just get the cav over there to chase down the enemy troops uh, and ignore the rest of this army that's coming forward. Woodland Warriors, it's not really much, is it? So here they come. Oh, Royal Guardsmen is the, who we should be focusing on if we can. Fire at those Royal Guardsmen, my boys. Fire away. Got Barding Marksmen as well. So get over here. Get after them. And I'm sure we'll be able to chase down a lot of these routing troops. Uh, 
Right, you boys. We don't need the other guys. Bring you forward. Come on, time to go, my boys. Yeah, they're getting a bit shredded by the Royal Guardsmen. Uh, who do we want to fight the Royal Guardsmen? Probably the Bane Guard, because they're armor piercing. Let's get the Bane Guard in. God, these Bane Guard took, like, no damage. <laughs> Uh, what's going on over here? Like, why won't you follow my orders, for God's sake? You fools. You absolute fools. Balin Billman, kill them. Kill those Woodland Warriors, please. Spear Guard into the Farman Pikemen. Into the Northman Militia, let's go. Bane Guard, let's get you round. You can probably... Fight those Northman Militia. Bane Guard, Royal Guardsmen, please. Oh, they are shredding our uh, crossbows a little bit. What are the Farm and Pikemen doing? That's what I want to know. Kill those Erebor infantry now. You guys there. You guys there. Poor Farm and Pikemen. Uh, Northman archers from behind as well. I don't know whether they've come back or what, but what are you doing? You go surround those royal guardsmen. Oh my god, where's the Northman militia gone? Oh, that's where they are. <laughs> Let's go. They ran into a pike unit. Well done. That's clever of you. I'll charge them. Absolutely shred them now. Now, infantry, let's go kill those Royal Guardsmen. Main Guard, let's go get into the Barding Marksmen. Is there any more units retreating over here? Tiny little bit of archers. Let's get these guys. How many have we killed now? 86%. But that's not including the people who've routed. Who've managed to successfully route, should I say. Guys, get those Dalian Swordsmen. You guys can come back and deal with these guys. Uh, kill those Farman Pikemen. Where are those Royal Guardsmen now? Is that them? 20 of them. Where are the rest of them? Are they just spread everywhere? What are they doing? Foolish of them. I've got to say. Wooden Warriors doing pretty decent. Oh, is that the uh, is that general? General! Is it the general? I think that's the general, yeah. Blue. He's wearing blue. Kill the general. Killed the captain, didn't we? Yeah, he's there. Kill him! Kill him! Kill the fool! Here come the wargs. <laughs> I love their sound effect. Oh, yeah, that's good. Decent. Charge them. Killed these guys yet? Uh, you've killed them, haven't you? Well, the, the Auric Eye just walking through them. Well, let's kill these guys because we want to take the city, don't we? You guys get after them. You guys. Who else is there to charge down? I mean, oh, we don't need to charge down the Royal Guardsmen. I uh, don't think there's anyone else. Unless any of these guys. Come on, let's have a look. Where are they? Alright, let's go. Who are you? Where have you gone? Uh, kill these body marksmen. That should be it. That should be the last of them. Why are they just running around? Just just die already, for God's sake. Go kill them. And that should be it. Well, that was a comprehensive victory, wasn't it? 30% for 100%. Very nice. We lost 248. And in reality, we killed probably 3,000? Ooh, that's very nice. Ooh. 
Nice crossbows. Archers not doing great, but okay. Pikemen, standard. They don't normally do that much damage, but 174 for that Uruk-hai infantry. Very nice. Spear guard, 104 with 47 losses. The worst, probably. Um, Bane guard, nice. 120. Raiders actually doing nicely. War Marauders, of course, doing well. 305 captured for that one. Wow. Well done, boys. Fantastic. Very good result, indeed. That's what we like to see. That is what we love to see. Very nice. Dale, you fools. Why would you declare war on us? <laughs> you imbeciles. This is one of the annoying things about the Isengard taking the ring, though. Is that fact that everyone declares war on you. And you're basically surrounded by enemies. Uh, Grim, you're dead. Well, Grim, how do you feel about your death? Let's just occupy. Get ready for fighting. Prepare. Retrain everyone, really. <laughs> Who do you want to retrain first? Probably those crossbows. Spear guard, bane guard. Let's just ret retrain everyone. Everybody gets retraining. Retraining for everyone. Probably could do with some more infantry here for defense so ah that's not actually giving us money so anywhere would build that we're building something that we've just decided to build Ethelond is already on the way with roads I think we can wait on that port I think it's more important to get a few more troops in Dolgador Right then, uh, have we got anything else to do? I believe so. Staying defensive over here. I think that's the good the good play. We've got Olakai, 46 attack, 38 defense. How many hit points? Six hit points. So it's not 38 defense. It's a lot more than that. Good lord. Good job. Do we have crossbows here? One unit of crossbows. Oof. It's not ideal, is it? <laughs> oh well. Oh, well. Get you guys retrained as well. Hmm. How's a Melkor? 18, yeah. Gondor is just falling apart, which is great for us. Right then, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you again on the next video. Thank you.